Hello everyone, peace of the Lord to all. Uh, today's video is going to be about Mr. James White. You know, Mr. James White always come with a new, uh, funny, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't like to use the word stupid, but sometimes I have to. Uh, this, this person, he always come with something new and something funny and Muslims love what he say. I want to ask the Christians a very simple question. Why Muslims love really to copy the videos of James White and post it all over? I mean, it must be there is a reason. Obviously, what James White is saying is a great support for Islam. This guy is the same as a mole in the body. I will show you a video. James White, he, uh, uh, you know, someone he asked him a question about uh, the moon god, about the moon god, and for sure, always as usual, James White he have an answer which nobody has, by the way. This man, he has answers nobody has. And sometimes you need to ask yourself where he got his answers from. So let us see what this video is about. I'm going to play it for you in the screen. Uh, let me turn off the Twitter so you can see him more clear. Uh, and we can uh, listen to the video uh, together. Let me get it ready. Hold on. All right. Oh, where is the video? All right, I will get ready for you. Here we go. Uh, please listen carefully for what this man he will say. And uh, let us see how much intelligence and how much knowledge he has. You know, the most important thing for me is about knowledge, really. I don't care really uh, about his private uh, opinion. What I care for is how much truthful he is in what he say. Like, is it truthful? It's false. It's false fiction. Is it a fabrication? Is it uh, based on uh, uh, reference? Or it's a ba based on uh, false statements? Um, so we will see together. Here we go. Someone he asked him. Some they say that the moon god is the is Allah. Some they say the moon god is Allah. This is why the Muslim they have the crescent moon at the top of their mosque. So James White right away, voluntarily he jumped to answer, and the answer is the following. to stop him here with his foolishness there is no reason for anyone to believe that the moon god is Allah and the proof Muhammad he never said that <laughs> like ha have you ever imagined that somebody will go in his madness like this what do you mean Muhammad he never said that he, the guy he just told you the Muslim they put the crescent moon in the top of their mosque you said to him Muhammad never mentioned that uh, moon God is my God. Well, what about you? Uh, you answer him then why the Muslims they have the crescent moon in the top of their mosque? Do you, ha do you have an answer? Why do they have uh, uh, why the symbolic of the crescent moon? So you see when a person he, he you know he claimed that he is a scholar and he, he give you an answer says you know Muhammad he never said that that's it. 
and this is the proof that Allah have nothing to do with the moon God because Muhammad never said so like do I need Muhammad uh, to tell me that he uh, he is a false prophet according to your logic Muhammad he never said that you know he's a false prophet therefore he is not a false prophet that's it Muhammad he never said I am a child molester therefore he is not a child molester Muhammad never said I am a criminal therefore he is not a criminal Muhammad never said I'm a thief you see the stupid logic There is a very actually strong evidence that the moon god is the god of Islam. And actually, this is what is going to I'm going to show you in my coming book, The Roots of Islam. Mostly I will name the book this way, you know, this name. Uh, and you will see with a strong reference, not stupid talk like this guy. You see, there's many things you inherited from all generations, from other culture, from other uh, nations, etc. You know. Some some sometimes people are not even aware of what they have. As an example, all of us Christians, uh, non-Christians, etc., or everybody use the word sin. Sin, but go right now and search for the word sin. You will have a surprise. This is why I say that James White. He is really a professional idiot. He say things they have no reason to say, and he just throw things from the window. It's like a child, you know, uh, and he's a spoiled. Like people, they think he is the guy who knows. So they ask him a question, and right away he throw it from the window. Oh, there is no proof that Allah is the moon god. So who is Allah? Can you tell me? Can you tell me where Allah is coming from? Because obviously Allah was a name exists before Islam. So who is Allah? As long as we cannot find Allah in the Bible, we cannot find him in the Torah. So where is Allah coming from? If it's not the moon God, who is he? You just, just say and they throw words. And why the Muslims are using the crescent moon? And why they fast by the moon? And why they, why they start everything by the moon? Even the Kaaba, even the direction of the Kaaba, even the direction of the black stone, all of it is about, about the moon God. So I advise the Christians, if you want to ask someone, you know, I did not mean to, to make this video uh, long. This is why I'm not going to uh, uh, give a uh, long reference, etc. Uh, but everything actually, everything is giving reference that Islam is worshipping the moon god. And it is a copy of the moon god temple. The Kaaba itself is a copy of the moon god temple, which is ex exists in Yemen. And actually, even the name of uh, Mecca is coming from the temple of the moon god in, in, in Yemen. You will see that all in my coming book. So there's tons of proofs, a lot of reference. Islam is nothing actually but a copy of those who worship stars and moons and Baal and etc copy from everybody something and then he copied from the Christian and then he copied from the Jews and he says to you you know the Quran came after us oh wow this is a, this is a knowledge for me thank you for saying that as if we never heard before that Quran came after us and the Quran he ordered the Christians to follow the scriptures what does this have to do with the question <laughs> The Quran is ordering the Christian and the Jews to judge by their scriptures. So, what does have to do with this? He want to tell you that Islam, obviously, is a is a is a, is a continuous of a Christianity and Judaism. That is one of the deception of this evil man. That's why this is why I say James White is an evil, dangerous man, because he tried to penetrate inside your house, inside your churches, trying to make you believe Islam is not a moon god religion. Islam, this is why he defends Islam. He says Islam is not ISIS. Islam is not about killing. Islam, etc. This is not fair. This is not etc. He defends Islam. This guy, he's, he's almost, I don't know if he's a Muslim. But this man, he cannot be trusted to enter any church. 
And if you invite him to your church, you have you have to reconsider again that you are making a crime against your own people because you are inviting a deceiver. And I say it, I say it without hesitation, that this person is a deceiver. Anyone he invite him to his church, he is making a crime against his own people. Because you are taking him as an authority, and you think, and he make you believe for a second, or for an hour, or for, or for a day, that he is a source of information and he have the correct answer. Why? Because he debated Muslims. Debated them about what? He never attacked Islam. He never said one bad word against Muhammad. This is why Muslims, they like him. He is uh, doing a great job for the cult of Islam. So he tried to make you believe that Islam is not a bad religion. Islam is not worshiping the moon God. Islam is coming after the Christians and the, the Jewish belief. And it says, you know, the, the Christians and the Jewish should follow their scriptures, which means it's Islam is just a additional uh, a belief uh, uh, born out of a Christianity, born out of Judaism. It is nothing more, nothing less. When this is absolutely nothing even close to the truth. And I challenge this man if he had the courage, and he will not, to debate me, live debate, about this topic. And about all the lies he says regarding Islam, defending Islam. And yet, the foolish Christians, they invite him to their churches. They invite him, even they pay him. You know those people, when they go to churches, they get the charge? They charge you, you know, they have a bill. It's not for free. So you go there and you pay them, you pay him for lying to you and to your children. Well, good for you. I never saw someone defending Islam as this man. Never, never. Actually, he do a lot better than Shabir Ali and all the other Muslims because you see the Christians when they hear this guy, they trust him. They take what he say into consideration. Suppose he's a Christian. He's a person who debated Muslims. He have a ministry, Alpha and Omega. Like, come on, what do you want more? So when you hear him, you will take what he say into consideration and you will trust what he say and you will believe it. And your children will believe it. And you will not even uh, suspect for a second that this person is uh, fooling you, lying to you, making up statement. No, no, no. There's no way to think this way. Because you will think that this is a guy we can trust and this is a Christian guy, supposedly. So I wanted to make this short video just to let you know that this guy, first, he's no Christian. And there's no Christian who will lie to the Christians. Forget about defending Islam or not. He, he is a person who always lied to the Christians about the faith of other, other cults. He make up stories, he come with answers, they have no no way to, 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 to even to be saved. And where he got his answer, like you know, when when we say when we say there is no proof that Islam and the God of Islam is the is the moon god. Can you tell me where you got this from? There's millions of reasons. Now, did you ask? He says some Christian apologists they say that the moon god of Islam is is uh, uh, Allah is the moon god. Well, did you refute what they say? I mean, you just say they just say that, but there's no proofs. Did you refute what they say? He say he's a doctor. He say he's a person who go by academic way. Uh, where is the reference? Where etc. Well, you know what? If you have the courage, let us debate about it and let us see who have reference, who has no ref no reference about it. And everybody will laugh, either at me or at you. So you Christians, you better be careful about who you call to your churches, who you invite for your churches. Not everyone says to me, to you, Lord, Lord. Not everyone is a Christian. There's many deceivers. There's many that come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. And that is James White. Who go into your church 
wearing the clothes of a minister. But in fact, he defend Islam and he tried to promote Islam and he tried to make you accept Islam. Islam is not really a bad religion. It's just a new, let us say, like, uh, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses who came just out of, out of Christianity, uh, you know, like many other, uh, you know, uh, but, but he tried to make it more appealing because now you don't reject it totally. You think that this is part of our faith and it's just something born of us. It's like our baby. This is the, Islam is the baby of a Christianity and it's a baby of Judaism. This is what James White tried to do, which is absolutely false. Muhammad, he copied from every religion something and the purpose is deception. This man, the Arab around him, they like the black stone. He kissed the black stone. They, 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 they go around the Kaaba. We go around the Kaaba. They do an Asafa and an Marwa, which is a status of two uh, two person, men and, and, and women. We go and do the Asafa and Marwa. People, they go by the moon. We go by the moon. So whatever people they go by, Muhammad, he go with because simply he want to make anyone accept him. This is why his belief is collection of many things. But when it's come to Allah, for sure, the origin of Allah as God is a pagan God. And this is what James White, he will never dare to say to you. Like, you know, forget about he is uh, the moon God. I challenge James White to say that Allah is a pagan God. I want you, Christians who they are listening, to go to this man and tell him, do you dare to say that Allah is pagan God? Are you going to say openly in churches? That Allah is a pagan God and there's no question about it. If he say that, I will consider him saying that Allah is not the moon God. It's just an opinion. But he is not defending Allah. But look what he said in the conversation. He said, well, obviously, the Quran says to the Christians to follow and to judge by their own scriptures. Which means it came after us. Which means he's saying it's born out of Christianity and Judaism. Which absolutely the false statement from a false teacher so please go to his page and challenge this coward and tell him is Allah a pagan God or not if he is not the moon God and he is a pagan God so who is he is that is that bad guys like I mean are we asking for something impossible if Allah is not the moon God is he a pagan God we want to see what this guy he stand for. If if he say he is a pagan god, so he what? He's a pagan god of what? When we say pagan god, this means pagan god. They have different belief and have uh, have his uh, his own uh, uh, you know uh, uh, let us say uh, uh, roots. What is the root of Allah? Who is Allah? Let us see what James White will say, and I hope he will answer sooner or later. And I will be watching closely and we will expose him. Thank you for watching and be with us later in Pal Talk. God bless. And don't forget, uh, if you want if you have a question, you can go to this website here. Uh, just sign in. You can sign in with your uh, Facebook, etc. And you can send me a question if you want. This is the easiest way, or you can go to our Facebook page uh, 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 to, to deliver your message. All right, thank you very much and God bless.